When I got my uh, first cap many moons ago, you had to have a drink with every player in the squad. And when Stuart Lancaster came up, came in, they removed that because it wasn't seen as something that you should do as a, as a rugby player. And then, yeah. obviously, Johnny May, on his cap, broke a toilet in, into smithereens. Um, what? And was that, that, I don't know how he... No, not because he dropped a bomb, but because it, I don't know what he was doing on it. I think the chicken, the chicken in him came out, and then there was a big stewards inquiry, so that was stopped. But well, then I wondered now. Canoe off the back of his I th- debut. I think someone trapped him in the toilet, and you know what, Johnny's. I think someone probably took his orthotics away, took his shoes away, locked him in a cubicle, and he went mad. <laughs> I wasn't there. You can't blame me because I wasn't there. And basically, I know they were sort of taking a dim view on that. Was someone like uh, Johnny Hill made to drink with the lads in the? Yeah, yeah, place? that um, that tradition got reinvigorated this weekend, which you'll be pleased <laughs> to hear. He was at the back, sort of trying to shirk a few drinks, and then in good spirit, we got him to the front. He actually had a mental song in the tank, which was good to hear. Ollie Lawrence, a pretty poor singer, but uh, it was right. good to have the young buck up on stage. Ollie Thorley was on good form, as you can imagine. What a boy! But yeah, I was actually shocked how good the standard was for the songs, because as you know, my song was absolute shit. What did, you, got, what did you go with? I'm pretty sure I started with Blackbird and Hass was like, oh yeah, impersonating me again, ear, bab, no one understands you. So I cut that <laughs> one short and I think I tried to rap and he was like, all right, Genji, sit the fuck down. I was like, oh, brilliant. <laughs> Blew it. Yeah, but that's <laughs> the whole point. That's the whole point. Oh yeah, 100%. Because you know what happened was is that when, what, what I'll explain to the, to, to the viewers. So obviously when the drinking sort of tradition and again, you know, throughout the whole tournament, guys would be very controlled. Uh, you may have a couple of drinks after a game, but because the nature of professional rugby, the demands, especially with the England, you wouldn't go mad. But at the end of a tournament, you know, a, a responsible kind of team social is is there. But whatever happens, you'd have to sing. And normally new players, new members of staff, and it's a great opportunity for someone gobby like me, gets to the front of the bus, uh, demands people to to get up. And there are some incredible people, like, for example, when Dan Cole got his 50th cap, at the spirit of rugby, just brought the house down with, I can't remember what it was, but it was like, I think it might be Bohemian Rhapsody, I'm not sure, but there oh, was like, wow, there was like different voices, key changes, like just a general level of excitement, but then, so, seven but, minutes 42 as well, I mean, that's yeah, like a hell of a, you knowledge. can back yourself if you're going for Great the full knowledge. version. Great knowledge, but it was, it was interesting with, with a lot of guys, that when they used to look at dignitary, so what happened was, is that sometimes you go back from a tournament, and you might have like the president, and some ala in, in in the mix. And obviously, as soon as you get a young player up, so I've got, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Bristol, you've got Ellis Gedge, right? And Ellis walks up, all right, Babber, everything okay? Right, and, <laughs> and starts doing his song. Everyone's like, shut up, fucking sit down, Ellis, get off, right? Or as soon as you start singing. And all you can see, all these ala people are like, Oh my God. Can't believe their eyes are like, yeah. I cannot believe <laughs> that, that we're, like, and we're like that rude to each other. But... Every now and then, what happens is you'll get the first 30 seconds of like systematic abuse. And then if you ride through that with an unbelievable voice, all the last, by the end of it, people have yeah. got phone lights out, people are lighting candles. Tears. <laughs> tears. There's been some tears. I remember when someone sold, sung um, Irish from the Goo Goo Dolls and people were like, ah, my real mosh. Mate, it was, it's nice. <laughs>